guys will be default press ok and then formatting all the... Uh, ok just do it just do it don't worry about it it's ok it's fine now close this ok now you're almost there you're almost there you're at legit almost there I promise you so all you have to do is open this ok press next and choose whatever you want to um, recover for me I want to recover pictures um, from my deleted S3 so I'm gonna press next you could click music you could click video but when last time I tried video it didn't work so um, if you're really into your videos I'm I hope it works for you <laughs> good luck so press pic click pictures press next and then you say in a specific location you browse it you go into your new volume K press OK press next and then press enable deep scan this will take a long time but this is will be the thing that will find all your files press start and it's gonna take a good 10 minutes so I guess I'll be right back okay so once you're done uh, once it's done all you have to do is choose the photos that you want um, click it select it, select it, or switch to advanced modes and select all and all that stuff and then press recover. Right now I don't want to show you the pictures because obviously it's personal pictures, that's why I don't want to show you. Once you're done, you press recover, you choose the place you want to put it in and then yeah, you press recover, go to desktop, okay, and you click OK and then it says recover two files. Close, minimize, Close this, and then these are the two pictures I recovered. But I really don't want that stuff. Anyways, so you're done with that. Now, how do you get out of all of this? All I have to do is just close it. Close it. And if processes are running, it's fine. Don't worry about it. There's no more. Th and there's all the process that you've done on terminal has already been done. So press close. And then this, you could just detach your virtual hard drive. You don't need to think anymore. So just detach it, press OK, and you're good. Close this. Now you think you can just unplug it, but you can't. You go to you go to eject and it says Hold on, come on, come on, come on. It says you can't eject. Come on. Oh here. So it says Windows can't stop your Samsung Android ADB interface device. That's because this is this is right now running. So what do you do? You go to CMD or command, press enter. You write ADB kill dash server. Press enter. Now that's after that's done, you press this, eject it, and boom. That's it. You can remove it now. And that concludes the tutorial. I want to thank WarTickler for helping me out on getting this tutorial like this is just amazing. This helped me so much. And this is just a tribute to WarTickler and also to Scandinavian, Scandian, um, for saying super user because without super user I wouldn't be able to get bypass the um, phone system. And also I need to thank one more guy and he's Arcadia 3 Go. He was the one who showed me which partition is user data. So um, thank you very much for um, watching this video, um, just, just go to this thread, make an account just to think, just to think Wartickler and Scandian. That's all I need. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much, uh, and have a good day.